Hey, Parker here, and I came across these really cheap Walmart lenses for phones. So I got them, and let's, uh, let's check them out. So, um... Yeah, they, they're a little like snap-on. So you're supposed to just snap on like that. And so they fit pretty much everything as a result. Yes, the uh, little bag for them, that's pretty cool. This 8X lens though, looks nice and beefy. Ooh, wow, whoa. That's a really beefy lens, like I guess. Is that focusing? Trying out this 8X zoom lens outside, I'm thinking maybe if it's long distance, we won't get that double vision. It's really hard to line up perfectly though. Oh, you know what? That looks a little better, but yeah, we're getting all this ghosting and stuff. If you twist it just right, you can see on this left side right here, there isn't the double vision. But then right in the middle, we've got that double vision. It looks like it's focusing on the wall. We're trying to focus on this little uh, tripod gripper thing. But it looks like that's as good as it's gonna get. Uh, you see with like the double vision, it's just, it just does not look good <laughs> at all. I'll go ahead and take it off really quick. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're trying to focus on. Glass is just really expensive and it's super hard to line up, especially when you've got this much that you're lining up. I think the focus actually does make a, a big difference, but it's still, I wouldn't recommend this at all. Let's put the macro lens back on. All right, in the final test, the macro lens. Let's get close to some light. Meow. That's crazy. And of course with the macro, we'll just bring the keyboard closer. You can get these great close-up shots like that. Oh wow, whose hair is that? Oh my gosh. And look how dirty these keyboards are. Oh my heck. I thought I was a, I thought I kept my keyboards pretty dang clean. Wow, that's scary. So we can get some pretty cool close up shots. Here's the, the wide angle lens up close. So uh, the macro can definitely be useful, but it's really challenging to use because of how close you need to be. Got my scissors here. Why is there dog hair everywhere? Oh yeah, because I live with the dog. Got a double A battery. Got a penny up close. Looking at my wall of Pokemon collection. This is just the standard 1X lens, not zoomed in at all. All right, and here we are. We've got the wide angle lens attached. And uh, you can see already quite a bit more uh, is in the field of view. Standing in the exact same spot, this is the fisheye lens. And uh, yeah, not super useful all the time, but it definitely has its applications. You can definitely see the entire wall of Pokemon, plus all these extra photos. Got the Zelda poster, got my light up here, and uh, Got all my Apple stuff. Um, yeah, so here's the, the, the wide angle and then we'll take it off for the regular, regular, uh, <laughs> boom. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. Wide angle. I mean, that looks pretty good. All things considered. But this wide angle lens with a, with a proper case on uh, actually works really, really well. 
as does the fisheye and the macro lens. So these, this one's I, this one I would recommend.